T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Hi everyone, I'm Eric, an amateur astrophotographer, and welcome to Surveying the College. Acting NASA Administrator Sean Duffy has announced a directive to construct a nuclear reactor on the lunar surface, which is projected launch by 2029. The planned reactor will provide a minimum output of 100 kilowatts, sufficient to approximately power 25 to 50 residential homes on Earth. This initiative coincides with the recent disclosures of collaborative plans by China and Russia to establish a nuclear-powered outpost at the Lunar South Pole by the mid-2030s. Although the 1963 United Nations Treaty prohibits territorial claims on the moon, the new directive includes provisions for a keep-out zone. Notably, this announcement comes during a period of reduced government spending across federal agencies in an effort to address escalating national debt. Many questions remain, such as, what will be done with the nuclear waste on the moon? How will the nuclear reactor be refueled? It's been nearly 53 years since the last human walked on the moon. NASA is reporting that 20% of its workforce is departing as a part of the president's efforts to downsize the federal workforce. Nearly 4,000 workers have told the space agency they want to resign through a deferred resignation program. Significant cuts have led to a major loss of expertise at NASA, which could hinder its ability to fulfill its mission of advancing science, technology, and space exploration. With a new lunar outpost race possibly emerging, these reductions may further challenge NASA's effectiveness. Our final story comes from research conducted at Curtin University. Researchers have conducted the world's largest survey of low-frequency satellite radio emissions, discovering that satellites, such as Starlink, are impacting radio astronomy. Radio astronomy uses radio waves instead of light to study celestial objects. The interference from so many satellites can potentially impact space discovery and research. There is currently over 8,000 Starlink satellites and another 2,000 active satellites in Earth's orbit. Discussions are ongoing with the private space company to help resolve the impact on radio astronomy. Be sure to check out my other videos for more on astrophotography, smash that subscribe button, and I'll catch you later on the next episode. Until then, clear skies and take care. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5.